All right, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. It is 1.30 a.m. on Saturday morning, and I am just now getting to the Yield Max Single Stock ETF Trades and Holdings. Um, if you haven't or have watched the Ulti video, sorry for the long video, if you haven't watched it, uh, know that I talk a lot and try to explain some things. So again, sorry. Um, another sorry, which I know some of you hate that, this is going to be a long video. Um, I guessed at the end of the last video, I was like, oh, I bet there's about a hundred trades, uh, on Yield Max, and it's going to be extremely long. Um, yeah, I just counted them. There's 90 of them. So I was close. So this is probably going to be close to my original, um, videos that would be about an hour, so it's very, very possible. I will do this one because almost every single ETF uh, had trades. I'm going to do this the way that you used to do it, where I would go over the trades, and then I would go over to the holdings. Only because there's so many, uh, you know, I have been the past week, because I think I've been doing it at least a week now, where I stopped going over the trades tab unless it had closed actions. And then when I did that, I only did the ones that were closed. Um, so I wasn't going back and forth because it was only a few and then I would just go straight to the holdings and I would cover all of the, the other trades over there. But in this case, because we have so many things going on, um, I'll do AI, hopefully I won't forget, um, but I'll do AIYY trades on the trades tab first and then I'll go over to the holdings and then I'm going to swap it back and forth. That way, uh, if you're just wanting to look at certain ETFs, uh, these are in alphabetical order, and then you can just fast forward uh, to the ETF that you're looking for, the ones that you're wanting to see the trades and um, and the holdings for. So these will be put together today, and I am just, I'm going to try to uh, reduce my comments, uh, especially since we have more trades and holdings to go over today, and let us get through this. So with that said... We are going to start with AIYY. As you can see, we have seven different lines here. And I guess I should drink me some coffee before I get two on a row. Okay. So our first three lines, you can see I went ahead and already pre-annotated them as these were rolled. So these were the short calls that expired... Um, Actually, I can hide some of these columns. So I'm going to hide that just because I try to make these small enough so y'all can see them on your phone. I am on an iPad. Um, so it's a little bit different. But let me go through and then just adjust these some just to make it, hopefully, that's pretty good there. Okay. So we have... Um, I don't even really need that there. AIYY. So we have three short calls that um, we're gonna that expired on Friday with the strike prices twenty eight fifty, twenty nine fifty, and thirty. They were all ro rolled um, to the March twenty eighth um, expiration date, which is next. Thursday. I'm pretty sure it's Thursday. And we have a holiday coming up. So yes, it will be next Thursday. Um, so let's go over here. I don't have any freeze panes there. Um, you can see here, this was a total of 7,895 contracts. So you can see here that they were rolled to that one. So it was rolled to one strike price, which is twenty eight fifty. Then they opened up new positions. Uh, as you can see here, 140 contracts were added to the synthetic and to our new strike price of twenty eight fifty for our short call. And then there you can see the trades. Uh, and if you're cur curious of how much it cost them to... Uh, 
close out the ones or roll the ones for this week, you can see right here that it cost one or two cents there. Got hot quick. All right. And we're going to come on over. And you can see on the left-hand side, all of these trades, um, all seven of these, uh, they still brought in $406,000. Or rounded 407,000. Oh, and there I almost forgot. Um, so we're going to go over to the holdings. And this one has the money market account on it. On the Ulti one, I did not see the money market account listed anymore. All right. So I have, for t this will be the first time I've froze the left pane. And the reason is because I c catch myself um, trying to go back and look at something since I'm trying to zoom in so much. Um, so we'll see how this goes. But AIYY closed at $14.96. AI closed at $27.82. And because I already talked about the trades that I have here, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to go over them again, but uh, if you haven't seen this before, that's why I got to where I would just cover the closed ones on the trades tab, and then I would cover anything that was just added to or new on this tab. That way, uh, it shortened the video versus going over all the trades and then going over some of it duplicate when we looked at the holdings. Um, but I guess, can I? Oh, I do have that. Okay. I guess I put that on there today because it wasn't there before. Since we already went over that, we will just hide that there. Um, so we can see here we have that um, the new strike price of the twenty eight fifty, but we also have a thirty dollars strike price, and both of these will expire next Thursday. We're currently two and seven percent below those strike prices. Um, we, by the time next week starts, it looks like we might have three weeks before. I've been saying a month, but Monday's the 20. Hold on, I'm trying to do this on my computer. So we have one week left in March. One, two, three. So now we still have four weeks till the uh, April 19th. But uh, we're currently 21% below that, so that doesn't look good. But you can see over here, if we had to close those out today, it would cost us $6 million. And then we got to we're going to jump back over here and we're going to go down to AMDY. So AMDY, you can see that they had uh, short calls that all expired on Friday on those first four lines with strike prices anywhere from 185 to 20750. So they rolled all of those to next week. And you can look over here on the right. You can see that it cost them one or two cents a share uh, to close those out. And you can see on the next two lines the uh, um, that where they were rolled to the expiration date of next Thursday, the 28th. And the new strike prices are 185 and 187.50. So, um, yeah, we are currently 3 and 4% below those strike prices because you can see over here we are 179.65. Just scroll over. Let's see if you want to see the total premium they brought in. And then you can see the total trades was um, almost $1.1 million that they brought in there. We go over to the holdings. AMDY closed at twenty dollars and thirty-one cents. AMD closed at one seventy-nine uh, sixty-five. And you can see the new strike prices there for the short calls. Uh, and then you could also see the synthetic that we already had with a two hundred dollar strike price, in which we're ten percent under. Which, if you look over here on the left, if we had to close those out today, it would have cost us ten point. $30 million. Then we'll move on to AMSI. So AMSI here, they rolled their short calls that were going to expire Friday. 
Um, they rolled them into one strike price of 180 that will expire next Thursday. And you can see, um, where did we close? 178.87. So we closed above our first strike price there. So it cost us 87 cents a share to close those out. And then it only cost us six cents a share to close the other one out. And then total, they brought in uh, $328,000. And then if we go over here, we can see AMZ closed at $23.22. Amazon closed at $178.87. And in this case, we are um, between our strike prices of $175 and $180. So we're green on those. Uh, so those are looking decent there. And then we're going to move on to Apple. So, Apple, you can see here that, um, ooh, that was so close. If you look at that first line, um, the strike price was one seventy two fifty. If you look right here, and we actually closed at one seventy two twenty eight. So let's see what they paid to close it out. Oh, they must have closed it out before end of day, which makes sense. Uh, so they ended up paying twenty one cents a share to close that one out, three cents a share to close the one seventy five out, and one cents a share to close out the one eighty. Um, but they rolled all of those to a strike price of one seventy five expiring next Thursday, and the total amount for the trades they brought in two hundred. And twenty nine thousand dollars. So if we go over to the holdings, we can see here that Apple closed at seventeen ten. Apple closed at one seventy two twenty eight. Um, we are two. Well, it looks like the synthetics and the short calls is all the same. Strike price at one seventy five. All right, not looking too bad there. We will go over to Coney. So Coney here, um, so they rolled their short call that it was going to expire, which had the strike price of two fifty seven fifty, to next Thursday with the new strike price of two sixty seven fifty. So they bumped that up ten dollars, but as you can see, we are four percent, um, currently four percent below that strike price. And if you look, we have almost fifteen thousand contracts. It cost three dollars and twenty five cents to close those out, costing four point eight million dollars to close out the short call this week. And then they brought in premium of eleven point four five million for total trades of six point six five million. So if we go over to the holdings, Coney closed at twenty eight oh one, coin closed at two fifty five fifty one. And we are between, our strike price is between the synthetic of two fifty and short call strike price of two sixty seven fifty. So not looking bad there. So let's go over to Dizzo. Dizzo rolled their short call with a strike price of one fifteen uh, that expired yesterday to next Thursday. To a strike price of one eighteen, and so it costs a dollar thirty five. So let's see, we closed at one fifteen eighty seven. So they closed them out during the day, paid a dollar thirty five to close those out, and let's see, they also ended up rolling these synthetics. Um. They didn't expire for two months, but they rolled them. I feel like they did this last time, too. Sound, uh, not sound, I don't know why I was going to say that. I feel like they did the same exact thing last week, but that wouldn't make sense. Oh, I bet it was Zomo um, that they had rolled it from like 103 or 105 to 110. Uh, looks like that's the same thing that's happening here. Uh, so they were rolling this synthetic from 110 to 115. 
So this last week, we wanted our stocks to be between 110 and 115. Now we want them to be between 115 and 118. Um, but we look over here to the right. So to close out, or the roll, those two synthetics, um, this one cost us $9.78 a share, and this one cost $2.31 a share. I say cost. There I go again. Because I'm looking in this column, and the pluses and minuses are over here. So, this one, because it's a minus, it costs them two thirty one a share. This one, they brought in nine seventy five a share. Um, so, to close out those synthetics, they actually brought in seven hundred and ten thousand dollars. But if we look over here, and all all of those together, it was still positive with three hundred eighty seven thousand dollars in. And then if we look at the holdings over here, uh, we have Dizzo, which closed at 2207, and Disney, it closed at 115.87. Of course, you can see we are right there above the synthetic price. Um, so we're in the positive right there, or in the green. So let's move on over to Phoebe. So Phoebe had three short calls that were going to that expired yesterday. Um, mm. So we had the strike price of five hundred, and we closed at five hundred nine fifty eight. So those top two that were five hundred paid five eighty one and five seventy three a share to close those out. So it ended up costing um, over $600,000 to close those out. Uh, then we had the one with, uh, that only had 35 contracts with a strike price of $515, and they paid $0.06 cents a share to close that one. Um, so yeah, if we actually look at the total, it was 630000 and then uh, they rolled those uh, to next Thursday, and they maintained the five hundred and fifteen dollar strike price, and which were only one percent below that. And you can see there that the total trades equaled uh, for all of the trades negative two hundred and nine thousand um, dollars. If we go over to FBY here. It closed at 23.36. Of course, we already talked about Meta closing at 509.58. You can see that um, we have two synthetic positions here with strike prices of 505 and 515. And then, of course, we have a short call for next Friday, which is also 515. All right. So we're going to move over to GUI. So GUI here, they rolled the, um, I don't know why this one is so big. They rolled the two short calls there with strike prices of 143 and 144 to uh, next Thursday. But if you look on the left here, we closed at 150.77. So we were above this about seven or eight dollars. Well, I can't apparently add um, six or seven dollars today. Uh, but let's see, yep, we ended up paying seven or eight. Oh, that's because I rounded the cents up a while ago. Yeah, so we ended up paying six ninety five or seven ninety five for the majority of the contra contracts. So to roll those. Ended up costing us $1.6 million to roll those to next week. And then... Yeah, I don't... So, let me look. Sorry. There was up here, this one. Yeah, so it was going to cost them... It cost them money to close out... So, and then they rolled that, that covered that, yeah. And that's what's happening down here, too, with the GUI. So, they rolled that short call, uh, and it cost, like we just look, saw, uh, $1.6 million. So, when they rolled the synthetic here, or, well, 
it stays with the same um, option date, expiration date, but it has a new strike price of 150. Um, but if we look, they made money on this, but and co to cover what they had just lost, right? Uh, it doesn't always work out. Sometimes it'll just cover most of it, but not all of it. But you can see here they brought in 1.75 million, and this was 1.6 million. Um, so those right there uh, basically ended up covering. Well, actually, you have to take into account all four of these, right? So that's where it doesn't. And thought something didn't because of when they open these positions here you can see that's actually a loss uh, up front of the 214 um, so in the end all of that all of these trades and they still ended up bringing in 86,000 total um, to roll both of those one two new strike prices of 152.50 and 155 and a new oops sorry and a new expiration date and the synthetic stayed the same expiration date but we rolled from 135 to 150. Whew, sorry there's a lot to look at there okay so then if we go over here GUI closed at 1712 uh alphabet closed at 150.77 and you now see uh, the new short calls there with those new prices. And you can see that uh, they had only rolled a portion of the contracts. In fact, if I open this, it'll probably say it. Uh, yeah. So you can see here that it showed it rolled 1035 from here to here, so it was only a portion of what was there, which is roughly half, right? Oh. All right, so we're gonna move on to JPMO. So JPMO, you can see they had their short calls, they expired Friday. Uh, with strike prices of one ninety two fifty and two hundred, but if you see here, we closed at one ninety six sixty two. That's four dollars above that one. That's where almost all of our contracts were. Uh, so it cost almost well two hundred and ninety one thousand dollars to roll those, um, and they're rolled into two hundred dollars strike price here. Um, so yeah, and then if we go to the synthetic, so here they ended up having a negative, yeah, 291, and then they rolled the synthetic here from 190 to 200, so if we take that into account, um, plus the other, so rolling these to a new strike price covered what they lost on the short call there but again this is one of those where they kept the same expiration date and it's in price only so after all of these trades they still ended up bringing in three hundred and nine thousand dollars and then if we move over to the holdings uh, we can see jpmo closed at 2162 jpm closed at the 196.62 we already talked about and then we see our new trades here. We didn't have any other ones to go over, so these are the ones, the new ones that um, that we just talked about. So we don't want to duplicate that. So let's go back over, and we'll go to Mernie. So Mernie here, they just rolled their short calls that were going to expire. So that strike price of 106 and 115, so we were below both of those. Um but they did end up paying 17 cents a share to close out the 106 and 2 cents to close out the 115 a share. And then they rolled down to the expiration of next Thursday with a strip price of 109. So overall, the trades uh, cost, or not cost, but brought in $259,000. So if we go over here to our holdings, Marnie closed at $20.54, while Moderna closed at 105.43. So you see our new short call there, and then you see also our synthetic position 
for the straight prices of $110, but those don't expire for a couple of months. All right, we're going to move on to MSFO. MSFO, oh, I have lots of traits. Um, we had four short calls that expired for, for, that were to expire Friday with different strike prices. We closed at 428.74. So we were over the strike prices for these two, which unfortunately was where the majority of our contracts were. So you can see to close those out were significant. So if we look at all of the short calls to close them out, $468,000. Um, so you can see that they rolled all of those to next Thursday expiration, straight calls of 435 and 430. Uh, they didn't split the quantity. They had 830 at the 435 and 200 of them at the 430. All right, and then let's look at the synthetics. So they ended up rolling the first two from the 415 to the 425. And so I just left that selected at the top so I could remember. So they lost or had to pay in 468000 there. But by rolling these, they ended up making $1.8 million. But then, it looks like that cost them more down here to open that one uh, than the other. So, let's see. Okay, so they ended up bringing in a million total for the synthetics. So, by doing what they did with the synthetics, it ended up covering the cost that they lost. Um for the short calls. So if we go over, we can see that they still ended up bringing overall because they did have the premium they brought in for the short calls. Um, they ended up bringing in $739,000. And then we want to go over to the holdings. So let's just look. Okay, so all of these are brand new. Okay, so yeah, uh, MSFO closed at twenty two ninety seven. Microsoft closed at four twenty eight seventy four, and we just basically went over these right here, um, except for that sh one short call, that straight price of four thirty. We're a dollar and twenty six cents from that right now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and. And go to the next one, which is Misty. All right, so Misty, they rolled their short calls. They had to strike prices of seventeen eighty five and eighteen fifty, uh, and rolled them to an eighteen hundred strike price for next Thursday. And they paid 15 and 9 cents to close out the previous short calls there. So in all, they brought in uh, $882,000. And then if we go over to our holdings, uh, Misty closed at thirty-eight ten. MicroStrategy closed at 1523 and so you can see here the new short call, but then we had the synthetic there already of 1700 which we're currently 10% below. We have four weeks left, and this thing can jump, uh, go either direction, hundreds of dollars a day. So we'll see what goes on with Bitcoin next week. And then we'll move on to Netflix or Nefli. So, Nefli here, they rolled the short calls that were going to expire yesterday. They had strike prices of $630, $640. They rolled those to $640, expiring Thursday. And um, 
Yeah, you can see they paid 88 cents. So hold on, I'm sorry, where'd they close at? They closed at, closed at 628. I don't know where they were at throughout the day. I didn't hear anything on the podcast about that one. Um, but they still ended up paying 88 cents to close that one out and 7 cents to close the other one out. But overall, uh, on the three trades, they ended up bringing in 251000 So if we go over to Nephli, um, we ended up closing at 1906, Netflix, the 62801, and... You can see over here our synthetic 610 strike price with our new short call of 640. So those are both um, green right there. If we go on to NVIDIA, they had four short calls that um, were going to expire Friday. Strike price is 950, 960, 975, and 1020. And we closed at 942.89. So, um, even though we weren't above any of these strike prices, they paid two thirty seven to close out the nine fifty strike sixty three cents for the nine sixty eight cents for the nine seventy five and two cents for the thousand twenty and then they rolled all of these to one strike price one so we went from four to one of nine hundred and $95 in which the strike the the stock price is currently 5% below that strike price. So the total trades they ended up bringing in 3.3 million dollars. So over here on Nvidia, Nvidia closed at 3031. Uh, of course we already mentioned Nvidia 942.89. And then you can see um, our new short call there, and then our synthetic strike price is nine fifteen, and are both green there. So we're gonna move on to OARC. So OARC's trades. I don't recall any other day that we've had this many trades. I'm just saying, <laughs> uh, I, I really don't. Uh, so OARC rolled its short calls that was going to expire. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it's because they're doing lots of scattered strike prices, a lot more than they had been doing. Uh, and maybe, I don't know how many they did trades they did yesterday, but maybe they waited and did almost all of them uh, or most of them today. Yeah, that's right. I remember now, yesterday, two, three, four... Five, one, six. Okay, uh, just glancing over here, it looks like we only had out of the 20 or so ETFs, six of them actually have trades. And so in this case, I don't know if we had, I think all of them had trades today, which I think is like a record since I've been tracking. But anyway, sorry. Um, I just had a thought and then I grow with it. Um, OARC rolled their short calls. Strike prices 50 and 50.50. ARC closed at 49.41. So we only paid seven cents and uh, two cents for the one that had the 13,765 contracts. So that's pretty awesome. They hardly had to pay anything to close those out. But our new strike price uh, for next week for next Thursday is $50.50. So, the total trades for OARC today, brought, they brought in 613000 If we look at the holdings here for this, OARC closed at the 1307 and ARC at the 4941 <coughs> See our new short call here, and our synthetic is the fifty dollars. So we're roughly under that, what um, fifty nine cents right now, but we're a couple of months away from that one. We will move on to pay pay. Okay, so pay pay here had two uh, short calls, sixty five dollar. Well, it says two, but it's really the same strike price. So sixty five dollar strike price. 
and they closed at $64.77. So they closed 908 of them for 42 cents and 1,122 of them for 50 cents. And our, they rolled those to next Thursday with a new strike price of $66. So we're currently 2% below that strike price. Overall, they brought in $75,000 for those trades. If we go over to here, they closed at $19.06. PayPal at the $64.77. So we're roughly $0.23 cents below the synthetic strike price of $65. And so we're a dollar twenty three below the strike price for the short call. And then we're gonna move on to SQY. S SQY. Um, let's say we had one short call with the strike price of eighty four dollars. Uh, it did. Was it $84 on Thursday? Today it looks like it got down to $80.77. Uh, that, so they only had to pay $0.03 cents to close that out. And then, then they open a new strike price for next week, next Thursday, with $84. Or I think I said new strike price, a new short call um, at the $84 strike price. And so the overall trades was 320000 So if we go over here, we see our new short call. Uh, and we see our synthetics at $80. And uh, we already said we closed at $80.77. And then SQY closed at $24.25. And then we're going to move on to Tesla. Tesla here. Um, they closed, uh, I'm sorry, they rolled their short calls that expired on Friday to next Friday. Uh, let's see, they kept the 172.50 strike price and they changed uh, the other one to 175. Um, they actually, if we look at the quantity, they rolled the 170, the 30,000 shares, um, to the 172.50, and then they had the 172.50 with the 11,000 shares. That one was rolled to the 175 strike price. So we're currently 1 and 2 percent below those strike prices currently. Um, I don't know how next week's going to go. We will see. I've seen Tesla go this week anywhere from like 160 to 178 I think so we'll see but you can see here that they ended up bringing in eight million dollars um, on those Ooh, I'm getting cold again all right let me go over to the holdings here Tesla closed at 1574 Tesla at the 17083 so you can see we had the uh, two short calls the two new short calls here and then we have the synthetics uh, with strike prices of 170 and 175. Um, you see, oh, actually, well, it's because we just paid a bunch of money to close those synthetics out, which is why those look okay right now. But overall, though, our synthetics don't look that great. Um, but we're technically still above, well, we're above one of them. We're below the other one by 2%, so that's why. So that's why it shows uh, almost a 10.7 million should we have had to close those out at the close today. Oh, no, that's for the short calls. I'm sorry. I don't know. Hold on. Okay. I don't know what I was. I was thinking that one. And now I'm having too many S's because I was calling them weekly and synthetic, but then... I was reminded that they're not called weeklies and they're called, you know, the short call. So then I named it to short calls. And then under ulti, we also have a, now the stock. So I have the stock, the short call, and the synthetic. So sometimes I trip over my words uh, or say the wrong thing. So I do apologize there. But, um, wow, our net assets, I didn't realize this. I guess because I haven't been tracking the net assets specifically for Tesla, I haven't paid attention, or Tesla, but 704 million. 
so before long we'll probably get on up there to one billion i didn't i just didn't realize it was that far all right let's move along we're almost done zomo Zomo, they rolled the short calls expired Friday with the straight prices of 113 and 115 to next Thursday, 113 and 114. So that's interesting. Um, and we we're actually over that one strike price by 49 cents at close anyway. But it looks like they closed it out early in the day for only 33 cents a share. And they closed the other one out for two cents a share. Uh, and then, of course, you can see the new um, new short calls for next week. Um, of course, we're already over the one, right, by 49 cents, and we're under the other by 51 cents. So our total trades for the day actually brought in $76,000 uh, for Zomo. So if we look over here, we see our new short calls we just went over, and we have our synthetics at 110, which we are above. And then Zomo closed at 1824, and as already stated, Exxon closed at 113.49. And then if we go on to YMAG, it ended up closing at $20.59. And then YMAX closed at 21.43. So, for those of you that like seeing all the shares, all the trades, all the strike prices, everything, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, if not, I did start this week doing the, um, doing just a, a daily roundup of everything. Uh, sort of like I do the weekly, but uh, I did a daily one. So, I just started that this week just as a test to see how that went. Uh, I guess I'll go back this weekend and look to see how many likes we had for those or any comments to see if we'll continue to do that or not. Um, those I can do like, you know, maybe around 5, 36 o'clock once the trades have come in. Of course, I can't do this video until I get all the holdings in, which isn't usually till between 9 and 10 o'clock at night. Um, so, anyway... Hopefully, uh, one of these videos, either the, the roll-up or this detailed version, um, has worked for y'all. But uh, y'all let me know. Uh, I need to know if I should continue doing uh, the daily roundup uh, that I tested out this week or not. But I'll let y'all go. I know this video is already long. And look for that uh, weekly roundup this weekend. Thank you. Now have a good day. Bye.